Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about make your Windows 10 desktop look professional and clean. Myself Mohammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, as you can see, I have a lot of clutter at my desktop and not only that, at my taskbar, I have a lot of application icons along with some widgets. We have clock, we have volume, internet connection, battery status, and then we have mic. So at the moment, my desktop looks very cluttered and along with that, it doesn't look professional as well. So let's see how we can improve its look. First of all, let's clear everything from our desktop. So just right click on your desktop, go to your view section and uncheck the option that says show desktop icons. And as you can see, we do not have anything onto our desktop. The next thing that we need to do is we need to adjust our taskbar. So right click on your taskbar and click on taskbar settings. From here, we have an option that says use small taskbar buttons. Let's just enable this one. And now we have small icons at our taskbar. After that, here we have an option that says combine taskbar buttons. At the moment, if you see all those applications that are open in my system have their icon and their label in it. But I want to have only icons of those applications. So just click on this option and go for always hide labels. And now you see we only have labels and we have underline on those applications that are opened at the moment. So now it looks more sophisticated. After that, go to your color section. And here we have an option to choose a color. I'll go for the dark one because it looks more professional in our system as you can see now. After that, here if you see we have somewhat brown color and it's an excellent color. You can change it as well. I'll go for the gray one and it will look much better with my black. And now this is how it will look like. After that, if you scroll down, here you have some other options that you can go for. I'll leave everything as it is and now if I click on my start menu button, here you will see that we have a lot of applications appearing in here and we have a list of all the applications in our system. We can change this setting as well. Well, just go to your start section and from here, just enable the option that says show most used app and I will disable everything else. And now if I click on my start button, now you can see it is more minimalistic. Other than that, in case if you want to change the name of these categories, you can do so. For example, here it says explore. I can change it. Just click on it and you can rename it as well. Other than that, you can resize these icons as well. For example, if I right click on this photos, here it says resize. So from here, you can resize it as well. I'll go for wide and now it looks much better. And now in case if you want to see all the applications in your system, just click on this all apps button and it will show you the list of all the applications that are there in your system. Okay, we are done with the start menu and now let's just get out of this. Now, just right click on your taskbar one more time and from here go to your search section. In here, just click on hidden. What it will do, it will hide the search bar onto your taskbar and it looks much better now. We are done with this one and now we need to remove or we need to hide these icons as well. So for that purpose, just click on show hidden icons button and drag everything in that. And now you can see we do not have anything in here. I'll do the same for my clock. So for that purpose, I'll right click here again. I'll click on taskbar settings and I'll scroll down. And here we have an option that says turn system icons on or off. Let's just click on it and from here I'll hide my clock because I'll add a clock manually from third party app onto my desktop. So for the moment, I'll just disable this option and you can see we do not have anything in here. Now, I want to make my taskbar center. How can I do so? Just right click on it and go to your toolbars and click on links. And here, if you see, we have links appearing in here. Just drag it to the left side of your screen and now drag it again. And now you can adjust it anywhere onto your taskbar. I leave it somewhat in middle and after that right click on your taskbar and make sure you enable the option that says lock the taskbar and now it will stay in the middle. So how cool is that? After that we have some other things that we can perform 
in terms of our taskbar. Now to do anything extra with our taskbar, we need to download some of the applications or you can say some of the third party tools. So I'll put the link of every application that I'm going to download in the description of this video. You can follow those. First of all, we are going to download clean desktop. So I'll just download this particular file. After that, we need to download RainMeter as well. So I'll just click on download button as well and let's download both of these. After that, we have to download one more thing and that is Taskbar X. So let's just search for that. So I'll just write here Taskbar X. Let's hit enter and let's see what do we get. So here we have Taskbar X download. Let's just go to this link and from here I'll simply download it. We are almost done with Taskbar X download as well. And now let's go to the directory where we have everything. First of all, let's install the rain meter. So I'll just double click on it, click on OK. And from here, click on next, go to the directory where you want to install it. I'm okay with the default location. So just click on install, click on yes. And the installation process has just started. And we are done with the installation of RainMeter. And here we have our clean desktop and taskbar X. First of all, let's go for the taskbar. So I'll just right click on it and I'll click on extract to taskbar X and it will create a new folder in here. Let's just open this one. And if you scroll down, you will see a file that says taskbar configuration that says taskbar as configuration just double click on it and let's do some of the tweaks in terms of our taskbar first of all go to your extras and here we have an option that says hide primary start button and hide secondary start button what it will do it will hide your start button from your taskbar after that go to your style section and in here i'll go for transparent gradient and i'll click on apply and you will see now we'll have transparent effect onto our taskbar and our start button is also no more there. Now for the moment, I'll just close this one and let's go back. And here we have clean desktop. Let's extract this one as well. So I'll just extract it to the new folder. And after that, let's open this folder. And in here we have different widgets that we can install into our system. And here we have a wallpaper. But first of all, I want to install simple clock. So I'll just right click on it and I'll click on open. And let's install this one. We are done with its installation and this is how it looks like at the moment. Okay, in case if you want to configure it, just click on your hidden icons button. And in here we have a rain meter icon. Just click on it, it will open rain meter. And here we have simple clock available. Just expand this one and go for classic version. Click on clock.ini file. And these are the coordinates of our clock at the moment. For example, if I change it, you will see its position have been changed, but I want to go back with the location that was there earlier. So I'll go for 798 and I'm good to go. So this is how you can install a clock in here. Now, what I want to do next, I want to include some of the wallpapers that I can have onto my desktop. So for that purpose, we need to install another software or you can say another application. And that application is called as Lively Wallpaper. I'll just search for that. Go for this link. Let's just open this one and scroll down. Here you will get an installer file that you can download. Here it is. Just click on this link and a file will be downloaded for you. I have already downloaded and installed it and now I'll simply launch it into my system. So for that purpose, I'll just search for lively wallpaper. Here it is. Let's just open this one. And here if you see, now we have an icon onto our system tray. I'll just right click on it and I'll click on open lively. It will open lively wallpaper application for me. Lively wallpaper application is an application that allows you to apply different wallpapers onto your desktop. And not only that, these are not simple desktop backgrounds. These are 3D backgrounds. For example, here we have jellyfish. If I just click on it, this will be applied onto my desktop. And now if I go to my desktop and now you can see this is how our desktop looks like. If you just click on it and move your mouse, this will move along with your cursor. So how cool is that? Let's go back. Now let's go for something else. Here we have metrics available. I'll just double click on it and let's apply it onto our screen. And this has been applied onto our screen successfully. And this is how it looks like. So how cool is that? Let's go back and I'll go for my favorite one, which is this one. So I'll just click on it and this will be applied onto my desktop. And whenever you will move your mouse onto your desktop, there will be new colors appearing from the background of your desktop. So how cool is that? And not only that, your clock that you have just installed look much better with this background. 
Okay, let's go back to our directory and this time I want to install Mond. So I'll just right click on it and I'll click on open. Let's install this one and I'll show to you what it is. So let it get complete. We are done here. Okay, for the moment, I'll just close this one. And here we have some of the skins. I'll right click on it. I'll unload the skin. Let me minimize this one. And here we have everything that I wanted to go for. From here, I'll remove time. I'll remove date and years. How can I do that? Well, just click on your rain meter. Let's open this one. Go to your mod section and from here, go to your clock. And here we have its file. Right click on it. Go for edit option and scroll down. Here we have meter 24 or clock. I want to remove clock from here. I want to remove clock for 12 hour and I only want to have date. So for that purpose, I'll remove date from here as well. And now we are done. Let's save this one. Let's close this one. And from here, let's change the coordinates for our clock. So for that purpose, first of all, I'll go for 1150 or let's go for 1200. And after that for Y axis, I'll change the value and I'll go for 700. Let's change it and let's go for 800. And I think this look much better. Now let's just close this one. Let's go to our simple clock and go to classic version and let's load our clock. And here it is. We have to reposition it. So for that purpose, I'll go for 1550. And for the Y coordinates, I'll go for 800. And at the moment, I'll just change the position for my day in here. So I'll just get back to you after I'm done with this one. Now I think it looks much better. I have changed the coordinates to 1275 and 850. So we are done here with everything that I wanted to do for this particular video. I hope now that you must have enjoyed watching this one and you must have learned a lot of new things that you can perform in order to make your desktop look more professional and very sleek. If that is the case, do leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video. Take care.